here at Sapol, we have been working with the city in several projects, kind of really with the revitalization of downtown, the future of Stephen Avenue. And then one of the asks of the city was, how can we make exciting novel furniture and performances to activate patio spaces? There are many factors that really decide what design we pick. Because we know that it needs to perform, the person needs to be sitting on them, they also have to be strong. And in this case, the city wanted to keep these, these pieces for the future. How can they be then kept by occupying the minimum amount of space? And that kind of started to lead us to techniques like curved crease folding, which basically allow you to create a 3D shape from flat sheet material. And just by bending it, it just pops up into shape and then you kind of unfold it and it just becomes flat again. We spent like maybe one month just like making paper prototypes and seeing how they bend, how they fold, and then from them starting to move them into like the full-scale prototypes. Once we design a digital pattern, we simulate it on the computer. We create a G-code. So how will these lines transform into code that the machine will understand? We'll just like kind of be cutting the patterns. We do have a lot of manual involvement of like grinding and filing to ensure that, that the furniture is comfortable and safe. Then after grinding them, basically we bend them. Right now we're using aluminum and that can surprise you that how can aluminum become a strong? By adding this curvature, you make the material very strong. So all of the intelligence is on the pattern. And then finally tension it and then they just get clean and spray painted. We are very interested in how the city is reacting to a lot of the new ideas that we are proposing. Curve folding are starting to be explored now more with digital fabrication and how can this really become a feature that could be permanent for activation of the downtown.